Right here at Union High School, on the left we got Gabe Rigo, on the right we got Caben Humphrey Butler, a pair of Union Titans both headed to Central Washington University. Um, fellas, what was it about the Wildcats and up there in Central Washington that made you pick them? Well, Gabe? well personally I think going there for three years in a row for camp really like got me to really want to go there. and I fell in love with it right away, so I think everything lined up, so why not take it? Caben? Uh, same thing like Gabe said, going to camp there, you know, you kind of get a feel for how they run things, and you get to work with the coaches one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I like the coaching staff, you know, the food's good, the campus is nice, so uh, it's a good college town to be in. So, Caben, you're going up there, I'm going to be playing some quarterback. Um, what is it about their offense that you like the most? Um, I like how they mix it up, run and pass, they try and go 50-50. Sometimes it doesn't work, but it doesn't always work like that. And uh, Blaine Bennett's a creative kind of guy, and he tries to put together some uh, creative schemes to beat the opponent. So as a quarterback up there, down here you're used to playing in the rain. Um, up there you can have, again, some possible you know, colder weather, some snow. Um, are you looking forward to that, or are you just not even thinking about it? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I've always played in the rain, so I guess it's not really a big change for me. So, I mean, it's still a good place to be, no matter what the weather's like. So, Gabe, we know Caven uh, going up there to play quarterback. You, on the other hand, uh, we don't know if you're going to play a tight end, defensive end, safety, linebacker, offensive line, kicker, you know, who, who knows what you're going to do. Everybody wants you to play somewhere. Um, what is that like going up there not really knowing what you're going to do? Uh, I don't know. It's just mentality. You just want to get on the field the fastest no matter where you're at. So I'm just going up with the mentality to work my butt off and wherever I am, I am. So how much do you think this last year um, where you were needed to step in in multiple different positions, how much do you think that's going to help you as you get up to Central and you know, you're know you being asked to do so many different things up there as well? I think that will help me a lot because it shows that I am dynamic and I'm willing to learn and I don't really take any position like lightly. Every position I go, I'm going to go as hard as I can anyway so I think that's that, that's good for me so either of you guys um, if you could talk to you know either younger guys in the league um, that you know we're looking to go into college what is one thing that you wish you would have known or something you want to tell them about the whole recruiting process um, stuff that they could do now as a junior or sophomore that would really help them out probably get in contact with coaches early so they know your name you can get it out there don't wait till the last minute yeah, I definitely start talking to coaches as soon as possible. Uh, go to camps, go to individual camps if you get invited. Uh, just get your name out there. Don't wait till the last minute. Okay, well, guys, we're uh, excited to have you both local. Again, we got Gabe Brigo, Cabe, and Humphrey Butler, a couple of Union Titans that are both going to be a couple of Central Washington Wildcats. Right here, Union High School, Brandon Brody Heim, the Titans uh, running back slash linebacker slash do everything back. Um, Brandon, we've been watching you the last three years. Um, looks like you picked Portland State there, so we'll have you in town for a couple more years. What was it about the Vikings program that sold you? Um, I like their, uh, I, I went there on my visit this past weekend. I love their system, I love the coaches, and uh, I got to know the city more, and I, I really fell in love with the city, so uh, that was a big turn for me. Yeah, so obviously we're out here in uh, East Clark County. Um, you know, we've had a little buildup of 192nd, but it's, you know, Vancouver alone, let alone East Vancouver, is not really a, a big town. But Portland State, you know, kind of that commuter college mm -hmm. type of thing. Um, so that was something that you liked over, say, in Montana and some of the other schools out in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, I'm not really but a small hick town kind of guy, so uh, I chose the city. All right, so what, uh, you know, you're going there, um, possibly running back, possibly linebacker. Um, what is it about, you know, well, if you could choose, which you want to play? Uh, I'd say linebacker. I'm more of a, I like I like the defensive aspect of the game more, so I'm happy with uh, my decision. So last half of the season, you guys made a good run at the at the state championship. There came up a little bit short up there north. Um, you got to play in the bowl game, um, the Tona Bowl. Is that what it's called? Tona Bowl. Yeah, how'd that go? It went well. It was a lot of fun. Met a lot of, a lot of cool Polynesian kids, and uh, made some friendships. So is there anything about uh, the fact that Portland State has green colors and you grew up in Hawaii kind of remind you of that? Nothing? A little bit, a little bit. Yeah. So if you could look back, I mean, you know, we saw you come on the scene as a sophomore. Um, you got to play in later parts of the game on a really loaded union team. Um, the last couple of years you were carrying the load for them. Um, what could you tell some of the younger kids, though, that are looking to go to college? Um, a couple of things you maybe wish you would have known about the recruiting process. Uh, man, keep your head high, prepare yourself as much as you can, and uh, 
don't 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 uh, don't don't close any doors in any of the smaller schools. That's for sure. All right. Well, hey, Brandon. Uh, congratulations. We've been. Uh, Thankful to watch you for the last three years here, tear it up in the Greater St. Helens League, and we're going to have you right there, big sky just across the river. Uh, we got Brandon Brodyheim, Portland State Viking, running back, linebacker. Thank you. Out here at Camas High School, we got John Payne, cornerback, committed to Eastern Oregon University. Um, John, what was it about uh, the Mountaineers that had you hooked? You know, I went and visited the campus, and everything was right. I just had a good vibe about everything, and the coaches were nice. I stayed overnight, and the players were nice had good food so that's a given and uh, you know they just wanted me to play some corner and wide receiver there so you know I just went with my heart. So one of the things uh, Coach Eagle got up we just got out of your little uh, presser there where all the kids from all the sports were signing their stuff. Um, you mentioned you know last year's team that when you were a junior and, and what they did um, you know setting some records and then here you guys come around the very next year you set records for you know least points given up in a year most points scored in a year you, you went further in the playoffs than them um, you caught a little flack from some people for some preseason talk there. Um, you guys backed it up pretty well, though. Um, what was the season like, and, and what was it like, you know, playing the season and then getting ready to, to, to go to college? You know, the season was great. Obviously, we went to Detome. You know, we wanted to play in the state championship, but, you know, things didn't roll that way. But the, we, last year's team, they paved the road for us. So we pretty much just off of what they did, we just got better and better. Out here at Camas High School with uh, Kamari Brown. Um, Kamari, you just signed um, to go play college down in Arizona. Tell everybody what you're going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to Pima Community College down in Arizona. Um, I feel like I'm a D1 caliber athlete, so I'm going to take the J JC route and um, see where it takes me. All right, so definitely, um, you know, we know how good you are. You are our 2011 All Level All Star Defensive Player of the Year. Um, at least the last couple of years, you've been very dominant on the defensive line. Um, so you are a very key part of both the 2011 and the 2010 Camas football teams. Um, what was it to play on both of those teams that were both so good? Um, I think it was great. I mean, getting the chance to play with people like Logan Grindy, Addison Owens, Oden Co., and then playing with people like Jonathan Warner, John Payne, Zach Marshall, I think it's great. Um, it definitely taught me a lot good experience for me for sure and I just loved it good experiences so what would you tell some of the younger guys out there uh, that maybe aren't getting all the looks from the colleges I know we're you know tucked away here in Southwest Washington we don't get a lot of looks um, what would you tell them something you wish you maybe knew a little earlier on in your recruiting process uh, for one weight room weight room weight room that matters for sure uh, two I say get to as many camps as you possibly can because I mean, people may have, people may say that camps don't matter, but it's a good way to get your name out there. So get to as many camps as possible, get your name out there, and don't stop, don't stop. Just keep hustling, keep grinding. All right. Well, hey, Kamari, it's been a pleasure to watch you the last couple of years. Um, good luck down in Arizona. Enjoy the anti-rain weather you're going to have there, and we look forward to uh, seeing you take it to that next step in a couple of years. And, uh, again, thanks for all you've done for us. All right, we're out here at uh, Camas, Washington again, Camas High School. We got Jonathan Warner, uh, wide receiver. Jonathan, you're heading to Penn State University. Um, it's a pretty big honor. What are you feeling right now? Um, you know, there's not really much I can say about what I'm feeling right now. I just I'm very excited and very honored, you know, to be a part of this new Penn State legacy that's happening. So I'm just very happy and very excited to go there. So central Pennsylvania, slightly different um, than south southwestern Washington, you know, the Portland metro area. Um, the weather's a little bit different. You just went back for your visit. You said it was a little bit colder there. Oh, yeah. um, wh what was it like? Um, just the whole aspect of it. Yeah. I mean, it was... For me, you know, the atmosphere at Penn State, I've been to Penn State once or twice with my dad. I mean, the atmosphere is, you know, just amazing. It's like, you know, a whole other, it's like a little Camas, Camas town kind of way. It's a giant community. Um, I mean, the weather's a little different from here, a lot colder. You know, it's like 20 degrees, like, I don't even know, like, wind chill factor and all that. And, you know, summer is going to be a little hotter, less humidity there, so. You know, some I have to get used to, but you know, I'll get used to it. So one of the things there, um, obviously Penn State's got a new football coach, um, the New England Patriots offensive coordinator. As a wide receiver, how awesome is that to think, you know, this is a guy the last couple of years been, you know, telling Tom Brady who to throw the ball to, and uh, you know, pretty soon he's going to be telling guys to throw the ball to you. I mean, what what is that like to think of that? I mean, it's, you know, I haven't really thought about it that much, but you know, it's it's exciting, very very exciting to know to know that. Uh, 
Bill O'Brien is going to come down and, and coach, you know, Penn State. And he likes to throw, so you know that's very exciting for me because I'm a receiver. So, you know, we'll we'll see what happens in the next next year. So. All right. So also, you know, you you know the last part of these this Camus teams over the last couple of years has done so well. Um, you had the touchdown in the Tacoma Dome. Um, explain what was that like? Um, it was really surreal to be honest with you. I mean, catching the ball and then you know running down open field, not having anyone really behind me. You know, it was, it was insane, to be honest with you, because, you know, I never thought, you know, I'd actually get to the Coma Dome. We'd always get, you know, close, but not close enough. So it was it was an amazing experience that I had. All right, so what would you tell, you know, the Knicks guys here at Camus? Um, you know, like you said, you, you, you're close but couldn't make it, but now, you know, it's kind of an expectation for them to get back there. What would you tell them is the most important thing they need to do to make sure they're back at the Dome? Um, you know, listen to Coach. Listen to Coach Eagle, that's for sure. Um, get in the weight room. Um, you know, if you want to get, you know, just try to go to as many camps as possible, you know, just try to, you know, get ready for the season, go to some summer camps, whatever, just try to get ready for football because, you know, football comes and goes pretty fast in high school. All right. Well, hey, congratulations, um, everybody local area. Go out and get the Big Ten Network um, so we can watch our man Jonathan Warner at Penn State University. Jonathan, um, thanks for all you've done for us the last couple of years, giving us some exciting plays. And we're very excited for it and look forward to watching you play.